today, Scott announced that we might get to play a demo of the Ultimate Custom Night today, so one week before its actual release. Actually, as you're watching this, the demo has already been released. Also, he shared some other interesting things. Hello and welcome to a new episode of FNAF News. Today we have several things to talk about. Before I get to the Steam update that Scott posted a few hours ago, let me quickly say that we aren't done with just the 50 characters plus Didi. No, we will get not only one, but two more enemies. As if it wouldn't be hard enough already. <sighs> Whatever, the first of these two has already been revealed. It is Shadow Bonnie, aka RWQFSFASXC. <laughs> what a fantastic name that is. Anyway, Scott already revealed his or her or who even cares mechanic, but I will get into that in a minute. Now to the more recent news, the Steam post. I will read out the first part of it, here we go. Hey guys, I wanted to post my most recent progress report here before the game's release next week. I'm also planning on releasing a demo either today or tomorrow. As you already know, he just released it. It will be similar to the one that I released early for a few YouTubers, but even more limited. You will only be able to add up to 1000 points worth of characters, so a maximum of 5 characters set to 20. It also won't have the additional office skins or the voice acting in an effort to reduce file size. But it should give everyone a feel for the new game and also give everyone an opportunity to help me weed out any last minute bugs in the mechanics. So as you know, the game has just been released, so I don't feel like I need to explain much more about this. So let's get right into the game mechanics he posted. One very nice thing I've got to do is this. I've been tweaking the character mechanics a little. I haven't made any of them easier. In fact, all of my changes have been to buff up characters who were too easy to avoid. I'm not even complaining about it at this point, since I'm very confident that 50-20 mode is impossible already. Since I haven't reviewed any of the game mechanics on the channel, I don't think that it would make much sense to get into these changes, but hey, here you have two seconds to pause and read it for yourself. Done? Good. Let's continue. Scott added a new feature and items to the game, which could be really useful for us. After getting a game over, there is now a chance that we will receive an item. There are four different types of them. First, the Frigid. This item lets us start the night with 50 degrees instead of 60. Second, three coins. Yeah, what it says, we get three coins, that's actually a good thing. Third, Battery. We get to start with 102% power instead of 100%. And last but not least, the fourth, DD Repel. This item lets us get rid of DD. Reminder, DD is the character who can spawn two additional enemies anytime at any difficulty. Scott did point out one more thing though. We won't be able to stack multiple items of the same type, so things like 110% power won't be a thing. Another thing that I find really cool is that there are now even more characters with voice acting. These are Music Man, I hate this thing, it's so creepy. <laughs> Funtime Foxy, Jack or Chica and The Puppet, really looking forward to this voice. We approach the end of the post, there are just two more things to talk about. As I said in the beginning of the video, Scott revealed Shadow Bonnie's mechanic. He can only be spawned by Dee Dee and he will make the office go black for about 10 seconds. Fortunately, this can only happen once per night. Oh boy, I can already see me and others rage at that. We don't know yet who the second character is, but I personally think and kind of hope that it will be Shadow Freddy. We will see in the coming week. Who do you want to see or who do you think the character will be? Be sure to tell me in the comments. Coming to the very last part of the post, the testing progress. Cut down, this big paragraph says that Scott still wasn't able to beat 5020 mode. Again, I don't think that anyone will be able to beat it, I mean, not even the creator can beat it. The highest score that he could reach was 6800, which apparently is equal to 3420 mode, which is still pretty impressive to me. However, his son, Brayden, was able to beat 51 mode, which is, according to Scott, harder than we might think. And you know what? I trust him with that one. And right now, as I'm editing this, Scott posted this. Not much to say about it, go download the game, the link is in the description, have fun. Before ending this video I want to give a huge thank you to Fabi Fien who gifted me this awesome intro you saw in the beginning. I'm currently helping him out with a really big and awesome FNAF project, you don't want to miss it, be sure to check him out as well. Alright so there's only one last thing for me to say. Subscribe for loads of FNAF related content such as theories, news and more. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video and have fun with Ultimate Custom Night. Goodbye.